Poverty is about not having enough money to meet basic needs, including food, clothing, and shelter. Poverty is a chronic issue that has been plaguing our planet since the dawn of time, but the continent of Africa seems to suffer the worst of it compared to other continents. Many Africans have been living and are still living in abject poverty due to several factors from both past and present events that have resulted in a consistently low income. Some of these factors include wars, natural and man-made disasters, and corruption. In today's video, we will be ranking 12 African countries with the lowest incomes in 2023. Also, we will be looking at their current GDP from the best to the worst. Watch this video to the end. Let's dive right in. 12. Guinea Guinea possesses mineral resources such as bauxite and iron, which is a hot commodity in the mining industry, although most of its income is generated from agriculture. The mining of these resources helps to boost the economy of Guinea, but most of its population continues to live in abject poverty. The development of the economy of Guinea has also been stunted because of a 60-year history of ethnic violence and political and police corruption. The GDP growth of Guinea was forecasted to increase to about 4.9% in 2022 and was recorded at $11.78 billion, according to the World Bank, making Guinea the 12th low-income earning African country. 11. Chad The Republic of Chad is located at the crossroads of North and Central Africa. It's bordered to the north by Libya, to the east by Sudan, the south by the Central African Republic, the southwest by Cameroon and Nigeria, and to the west by the Niger Republic. In the last three years, there has been some revival in the country's cotton industry and in the mining of natron, an ingredient used in producing laundry detergents. The economy of the Chad Republic is one of those that have suffered greatly due to its civil war, as local businesses could not survive and foreign businesses could not make investments. Chad currently has a GDP of about $11 billion. 10. Togo Togo is a country in West Africa. It's bordered by Ghana to the west, Benin to the east, and Burkina Faso to the north. Togo possesses phosphate, which is the major generator of income for the country's economy. Phosphate is an important ingredient in the making of fertilizers, and the government of Togo collects taxes from the mining and exportation of this phosphate to stabilize the economy and grow its GDP. Despite the mining, most of the people of Togo still depend on agriculture for their livelihoods, as the income generated from mining their phosphate has not proven sufficient to adequately provide for its 8.4 million people, and many of them still live in poverty. The country has a current GDP record of about $8.4 billion. 9. Somalia Somalia has a GDP of $7.29 billion at the end of last year. Somalia is in eastern Africa, in the Horn of Africa. It's bordered by Ethiopia to the west, Djibouti to the northwest, the Indian Ocean to the east, and Kenya to the southwest, and agriculture is the most important sector of the Somali economy with livestock breeding earning about 60% of Somalia's foreign exchange. Somalia is currently undergoing a severe drought with conditions resulting in famine in some parts of the country, which has prevented the economy from sustaining a modest rebound in growth, making it one of the lowest income earners in the continent. Hey, like our video if you enjoyed it so far. Also, if you are interested in knowing more about Africa, then subscribe to the new tourist channel and click the bell icon to get notified when we upload new educational content like this. 8. South Sudan South Sudan possesses a range of mineral resources such as iron, oil, gas, chromium, tungsten, gold, silver, diamonds, etc. Despite the availability of all these resources, the economy of South Sudan remains one of the most underdeveloped in Africa. The economy of South Sudan relies greatly on agriculture, with about 95% of the South Sudanese population relying on farming, fishing, and herding for their means of livelihood. South Sudan's economy is estimated to grow by about 1.2% in 2022. Its current GDP is recorded at about $5.17 billion. The World Bank also estimates that about 34.6% of the South Sudanese population still live below the international extreme poverty line of $2.15 per person per day. 
7. Sierra Leone Sierra Leone is located on the coast of West Africa, bordered only by the Atlantic Ocean, Guinea, and Liberia. Like its neighbor Liberia, Sierra Leone and its people have suffered greatly from civil wars and the Ebola epidemic. Sierra Leone has also been plagued by natural disasters, such as mudslides, flash floods, drought, coastal erosions, and many more. The economy of Sierra Leone relies majorly on agriculture for income, with about 66% of its population engaged in subsistence farming and growing rice, which thrives in flooded soil. Sierra Leone is one of the few poor African countries to have a higher GDP, because many Sierra Leoneans outside the country regularly send significant sums of money to aid their families still in the country in addition to money gotten from foreign aid. The country's GDP is about $4.2 billion, still one of the lowest in the region. 6. Liberia Liberia is situated along the coast of West Africa. It's bounded by Sierra Leone to the northwest, Guinea to the north, Ivory Coast to the east, and the Atlantic Ocean to the south and west. Its main source of income comes from trade, with the USA and countries of the European Union among the principal markets for Liberian exports. Rubber accounts for most Liberian export earnings, followed by gold, diamonds, coffee, and cocoa. The COVID-19 pandemic of 2020 also caused a contraction of the Liberian economy by about 3%, but growth recovered to 5% in 2021, according to the World Bank, due to an increase in demand and exportation of its goods and services. Now Liberia has a GDP of about $3.5 billion. 5. Burundi Burundi possesses mineral resources such as gold, nickel, copper, cobalt, and many more resources, but the government is recorded to receive only 10% of the revenue generated by foreign mining companies. Burundi's economy relies majorly on its agricultural sector, which contributes to over 30% of its GDP and engages over 80% of its workforce. The country's economy has been greatly affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russian war on Ukraine, but it strengthened to about 3% by the end of 2022, according to a recent assessment by the International Monetary Fund. Burundi has been ravaged by a series of wars, which has greatly discouraged foreign investors from investing in the country alongside its lack of legal protection for investments. Burundi currently has a GDP of about $2.9 billion. 4. The Central African Republic the Central African Republic is regarded as one of the poorest and most fragile countries in the world, despite its abundance of natural resources. This country is in Central Africa and bordered by Cameroon, Chad, Sudan, South Sudan, and the Republic of Congo. Agriculture constitutes the largest sector of the economy of the Central African Republic, contributing about half of its GDP and also providing employment for nearly 80% of its population. According to the World Bank, the Central African Republic has a GDP record of about $2.5 billion. 3. Eritrea Eritrea is in eastern Africa in the Horn of Africa, to the north of Ethiopia, and it is bordered by the Red Sea in the northeast. Eritrea, unfortunately, has often been referred to as Africa's North Korea due to its constant wars with Ethiopia. After fighting for their independence from Ethiopia from the 1960s to 1990, eight years later in 1998, another war broke out with Ethiopia, which ended in 2018 since then, its economy has been struggling to stand. The economy of Eritrea relies majorly on its agricultural sector, which employs about 80% of its population. The GDP of Eritrea was previously recorded at about $2.2 billion at the end of 2021. 2. Gambia A major part of the economy of Gambia is dependent on agriculture. About 75% of its population depends on crops and livestock for their livelihood. The tourism sector of the Gambian economy is also a major part, and it took a big hit during the COVID-19 pandemic and lockdown, but it is beginning to revive. Gambia economy reached a growth of 4.8% by the end 2022. Its current GDP is $2.1 billion, according to the World Bank. 1. 
Guinea-Bissau Guinea-Bissau, as it is popularly known, is located on the Atlantic coast of West Africa. It's bordered by Senegal to the north, Guinea to the east and south, and the Atlantic Ocean to the west. Guinea-Bissau has a terrible history of wars, starting from the Liberation War against its Portuguese colonizers, a civil war, a dictatorship, and several coups. Its presidential seat has a five-year tenure, and yet none of its presidents has finished their term because of how politically unstable the country is. Most of the people of Guinea-Bissau make their living from fishing and agriculture. Cashews and peanuts thrive on the soil there and are major products. Agriculture accounts for about 50% of the country's GDP, which was previously recorded at about $1.6 billion, putting them at the bottom of our list of Africa's low-income earners. Every poor country needs political and judicial reform that would uphold the rule of law and stamp out corruption and other vices that hinder economic growth and development. These listed countries, amongst others, still have a potentially long way to go, but there is always hope that they can achieve their goals sooner and that Africa as a continent can eradicate poverty and provide a safer, healthier environment for future generations. That's it for today, touristers. Thank you for hanging on to the end. Let us know what you think about Africa's low-income earning countries in the comment section. Thank you again for watching and see you in our next video.